Welcome to technical drawing. Now we will see how to draw a curve passing through C, D and E and we will measure that arc. So we have to draw an arc passing through C, D and E and we need to find the length of an arc C, D, E. So what we will do, first we will bisect CD. You take more than half of the line CD and you cut from C and D. Then you bisect DE, you take more than half. Then here also you bisect. Wherever it will cut, that will be point O. And from O, to take radiuses D or E or C, whatever you want. And you can draw a curve passing through C, D and E. So this is how we can draw a curve passing through C, D, E. Now I want to know the arc length. C, D, E. So what I will do, I will join C to E. In this case it is straight, so I will draw with a horizontal line. Then I will bisect C, E. Of course it will pass through O, so I can do direct also. But I am showing you the construction. Let's say if you don't have O then, or if it is very below. or if it is very far. Now see, you draw a line passing through O, wherever it will cut on line CE, that will be midpoint M. So EM is equal to MC. I'll extend this line. I'll take EM and I will cut it over here. I'll get point. Let's say this is point N. So EN is also same. All three segments are same. Now take N2 C and draw R. N to C draw R. After that, you join O to E. And if you want to do it in a hurry, then you can take directly a protractor and you can mark 90 degree like this. And then you, if you join, you'll get the arc length. Or if you want to do it by construction, then you construct 90 degree. This is how you draw. Cut from here. Cut from here. Like how you draw normal perpendicular from point E that way. Or you can use protractor, whichever way you feel comfortable. And from E you draw perpendicular. So you'll get the arc length. So EP is your arc length. So I hope you people have understood this sum. Thank you.